Where are we going? We're going west. Mm-hmm. Yeah, top five in the West. Um, mm. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. Though. This could be a good one. This ain't that. I can go first, Cole, if you need to. I don't think it's that hard. For I don't really think so. I don't really think I need time to think that hard. I, I, you know, honestly, the 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 way that the the the, the standing shook out last season, I think you take the Clippers out of that top five. What is it? The, the Thunder was one, Nuggets was two, Timberwolves was three, Clippers was four, Mavs was five. You take the Clippers out of there, uh, replace. With the Suns, maybe Pelicans. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I don't think oh, you can go ahead, P. You can go ahead. <laughs> um, I think for me at one, um, I want to go. Give me one because I want to make sure. Hold on, give me two seconds. I want to make sure this is correct because I had this written down. Um, so for me, so for me, yeah, so for me, um, honestly, we go at one. Um, I'm gonna go Minnesota. I'm gonna go Minnesota. Um, I think with the pieces that they added, um, and just the leap that I believe Ant is going to take because he's really hungry now, and this Team USA experience is going to be beneficial to him as well. Um, because like he said. Any questions that he has, he's going to Kevin Durant. He's going to a lot of these guys, you know, that are, that are leaders above him that have done it, and he's getting that feedback. Uh, so I'm gonna say Timberwolves at one. I want to say um, OKC at three. I mean at two. OKC at two. Um, they bring back everything and they added some really good pieces to take them to another level. Um, I'm gonna go Denver at three, um, but I'm also kind of. Kind of skeptical on that. Um, uh, they had a bad off season. I, I'm a. They've had a. Their last two off seasons have been bad. Yeah. Um. And but they do have Joker and, and Jamal still. Um. So I'm gonna put them at three because I know they're gonna win games. Um. I honest. Yeah. I'm gonna just put them at three. At four. Um. Hmm. I'm personally going to go with the Pelicans. Um, I really like, I really like the core that they've built. I really like, I mean, they have. If they, you, we talk about staying healthy. If those guys can stay healthy, they have the young pieces and good, good leadership vets to go, you know, and win. I love Trey Murphy. I love. Herb Jones, I love Dejounte Murray being added. Obviously, Zion is what he is. CJ McCollum, they have a great core and they have a really good coach too. Um, and at five, I'm gonna go Dallas. I'm gonna go Dallas at five. I like Luca with 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 Kyrie, and you add. Um, Clay, but then you also got your, you know, you still got your core from PJ and Derek Lively and um, Gafford. You know, now death wise, I think it, it, I really want to see Josh Green take that really good step. I want to see someone. I, I just I just oh. found out about it. Yeah, that it oh, was like a traded? sixteen, bro. It was like a sixteen. Oh, he was he was in a sixteen. He yeah, 16. bro. Oh, and they so they they brought they got Najee Marshall and who else? They added somebody else, Najee Marshall and um, cause I saw that uh, who was it? Quinn Grimes. That's who it was. So I mean, honestly, I think Quinn Grimes is a more high volume score than Josh Green was. So I think he can help off the bench, and I think he's solid defensively as well. Uh, so I, I, I like the Mavs there, um, but then again. The West is the West. I mean, Brian can Brian can switch into another gear if he chooses to with his son. Um, I mean, we never know what Book and KD gonna do in Phoenix. You know, and Bradley Bill, like you know, we with John Morant coming back, what does that look like? 
with Zach Eady. Like, that's another piece that I think should can be in that five, but we got to see it. Um, and Sacramento. I, 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 I like them getting DeRozan. I think it settles that team down. That team has been great the last two years with fast, 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 fast-paced basketball. But in those crunch time situations, they haven't had a key guy that they can go to to slow the game down and control a game in a playoff style situation. DeMar DeRozan can do that. He can do that for them. Um, so that's why I like that piece. And he helps them in so many other ways as well. Um, so, yeah, the West is going to be interesting, but that ought to be my five there. I think I'm looking at this West right now. It's. I mean, I can't remember a time where, look, the West was this stacked. I mean, it's OKC, Nuggets, Timberwolves, uh, Clippers, kind of, Mavs, Suns, kind of, Lakers, kind of. All And when I say kind of, the Clippers, Suns, and Lakers would all make the playoffs in the East. That's not even a question. Kings, Warriors, uh, you know, uh, but you got the Memphis, but then you got Memphis coming back with Ja, who's on a revenge tour. You got the Rockets, who they improved all. They were five hundred last. They were literally five hundred last year. Ime Udoka is a hell of a coach. It's it's gonna be some very good teams that miss the playoffs or like they get in the play in and they don't even make it to that top eight but for my top five teams in the west number one i'll say okc i'll say okc number one i think that Jalen williams takes another step as the thunder expect him to i think chet takes another step and if if Chet becomes solidified, like their second option on offense, everybody better be scared about OKC. Because if 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 Chet develops a more offensive game, they about to win. They about to win some chips. They about to win some chips for sure. Number two, what do you I mean got, by that? What I mean by that is, if Chet improves his offense the next five years, they'll win too. At well, least. so when you say like improve his offense, like what can't he do on offense? I feel like sometimes he lacks aggression. His post game could be better. Okay. He can be more efficient sometimes. I got you. I got you. All right, I got you. Um, yeah, number two, Timberwolves. I love the Rob Dillingham trade. I mean, I was shocked. On I was I was live. With my man Philly, Philly take with RB. I was surprised the Spurs traded that pick for some middle schoolers. I was like, wow. I was like, all right, all right. Maybe y'all packaging that for some trade that I don't know about, but whatever the case may be, I think Rob Dillingham will end up being Ant's Batman for the foreseeable future. And we'll see him get a 30 ball. A forty ball. We we gonna see him score the hot clip. You never, you can never bet against those Kentucky guards. So I got Tim Wolves at two. Uh, at three, at three, I'll say Dallas. At three, I'll say the Mavs because I do love the acquisition of Clay Thompson, and you gotta really be wary of all time great players whether they're all-time great in the present moment or they're just all-time great like in history that are that have a point to prove. Klay Thompson is going to be on a revenge tour. He got a point to prove, and he's going to be hella motivated to show these guys I'm not washed. I see all y'all in my comments saying 0 for 10, trolling me. It's getting old. I'm getting tired of these trolls. I'm like, y'all just expecting this man who – Multiple occasions has saved Steph's ass. That's because he's for another day. I got Mavs number three. Number four, Nuggets. Like you said, P, the offseason was not it. Losing KCP, 
That puts more pressure on Michael Porter Jr. to to step up. And now he can't be he, he can't have those off nights like he has sometimes from three. He got to really be on it. And then at yeah. F five, F five, I'll say the the Kings. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At five, at five, the Grizzlies. At five, the Grizzlies. I think John Morant and the Grizzlies they pick up from where they was before his little suspension and all that, all that BS happened. So yeah, one OKC, two Timberwolves, three Nuggets. I'm sorry, three Mavericks, four Nuggets, and five Grizzlies. What you got, Coop? Yeah, I'm going Thunder one. Um, that was. I just like the pickups. I like the pickups. I like them getting another big. I think them getting another big. Um, honestly, you talk about Chet's offensive game. I think them getting another big puts Chet. It, it they have the ability to move Chet around now. Like you can put Chet at the four if you want. I don't think they'll actually do it, but you have an ability. Why to you say it. no? I don't because that it because of. Um, I think it's changing pay. I think it's I think it's play and pace. I don't think they'll do it because of pace. Putting Chet putting Chet at the four hurts them because they don't have anybody else to go to if either one of them get in foul trouble. Like I, I, like um, he's right, so yeah, what about like a, a lineup there that ends the game uh, with them? What about a lineup that I, ends the yeah, game? Yeah, a lineup that a lineup that ends the game, but using that throughout a long stretch of the game is going to be yeah, hard no, I, over. I, I mean, yep. maybe, but it's also like when you put hard, but at that point in the NBA, especially with how they play, when you put Chet at the four with Hartenstein at the five, I mean, Chet is probably going to be in a corner standing somewhere and it makes him a spot up shooter. Or you got Chet playing in split action and maybe or maybe not coming off the DHO or screening and slipping. So it's kind of like, it I'm not saying that it can't work, but you were talking about Chet developing this game. I'm not, you know, sure how that looks. Uh you the coach, not me, but Chet at, I, I think Chet at the four could be interesting. Um I look at it and obviously there's not a LeBron there, y'all. I don't go crazy, but I, I see it kind of how kind of how the Lakers was able to move AD to the four um at one point. It's it, it can it can be interesting. I don't know. Oh, um, I like that. I like that. I do too. I, I I think it can close a game, like you said. I don't know. I don't know if they'll do it for long stretches, but I think it can close a game for sure. Um, I think Isaiah Hartenstein just adds an interesting element. That's all. Um, so Thunder one, uh, Timberwolves two, Rob Dillingham. You know, I, I think I like what you said about Rob Dillingham, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, a lot of people don't like that trade with the Spurs. And I'm not saying Rob Dillingham not gonna go, but I'm not sure if the Rob Dillingham that you're gonna get on the Timberwolves, who doesn't have to be a number one option, and not that he would have to be a number one option in uh, in San Antonio, but I think his role would be a lot different in San Antonio. He would have to carry a carry a heavier load than he would, and he's gonna have to in Minnesota. Um, and I think the Rob the, the Rob Dillingham that you that you think you're about to get in, in Minnesota, I don't think that same Rob Dillingham will show up as a rookie in San Antonio. So I think he mm. I think he'll be great in Minnesota. Um, but it's because he won't have to he won't have to carry the same load that he would have had to in San Antonio. And so I think that might have been a front office thinking like ah, he's gonna be really good somewhere, but it might not be here as a one guard, so to speak. Um so that yeah, I'm going Timberwolves two. I could go Nuggets three, but I think they're shook. I think they're shook. I think them boys are shook right now, and I don't like the past two offseason that they had, like y'all said. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna go Mavs three. Um, I'm gonna go Mavs three. They made it to the finals, man. I I, I don't. They made it to the finals. Um, I'm gonna go Nuggets four though, and. I'm gonna go Pels five. I love the Dejounte Murray pickup. I loved him in I loved him in in Atlanta. I think he I, we got to watch him a lot in Atlanta. We went to a lot of Hawks games. Um, but the Pelicans got. I mean the same thing. The same the same thing we said about we I said about 
I said about the Bucks and the Sixers, um, God permitting and health permitting, man, if they can stay healthy, they're going to go. Now, Dark Horses, obviously, um, y'all know how I feel about Ja. We did this on this podcast before. <laughs> um, y'all know how I feel about Ja. So I'm going to go. I would, mm. I would Grizzly 6. Um, I don't like the Kings. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's going to be real fun to play with on 2K. Um, but I don't, I, I get why you think I get what you, your explanation for them was great. I just don't, I just don't. I get it. I get it. I, 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 I want to say this. I want to say this real quick. We talked about the Timberwolves because we all kind of, uh, I didn't speak on either one of them, but y'all both brought up Rob Dillingham. But I'm more excited about Terrence Shannon Jr. in that trade, more so than Rob Dillingham. I think Terrence Shannon Jr. Um, is going to have a huge, um, uh, faster impact than Rob will and a bigger impact than he will early. Um, and I do agree with you, Cobe, on his – on. I think we're going to get a better Rob Dillingham in Minnesota than we were going to get in San Antonio um, because I think – having someone like Ant as a leader for him or a co-part, it allows um, Dylan Hunt to be free, you know, and be in that, in his space and in his moment. But also he learns how to, you know, dissect the game and grow with somebody that's kind of doing it at the same time. But you have, you know, a guy of Mike Conley who's, you know, mentoring Ant a little bit. You know, you got, um, well, you had Kyle Anderson, but he's gone now. But you got a good, Good core there when it comes to that guard room that they have that all those guys are growing. So most of them are growing together, and you got Mike Conley at the head of it that's letting these guys know how what it takes to be successful in the league. So I, I'm really big on the Terrence Shannon um, junior piece of that trade more so than the Dillingham piece. 